What I've observed in life is a lot of people will say, don't change. Don't stop doing this. Don't stop doing that. But as years go on, they will change. They will do something different and you will be left alone. And this will apply to many things in life. So as you become an adult, you have to learn to walk a level of your journey alone and to also change when you want, but not change if you don't want. It's hurtful and sad when someone is sharing a lifestyle with you or sharing their life with you and at some point they no longer do and you're like kind of left with the bag so to speak you're left with your emotions you're left with your lifestyle you're left with your house or you're left with this life that you created that you thought was what someone else and i'm not just saying in a relationship um, I'm saying this applies to a relationship. This applies to a relationship you form online. This applies to a community that you entrench yourself in. Your neighbors will move. This applies to uh, a group that you will associate with. People will leave the group or change the group. As an adult, relationships come and go. And not just loving relationships, all the ones I mentioned. Lifestyles come and go. You know, I've learned that and I've got that reinforced even in this nomadic life. You know, as many people transition to another lifestyle and eventually I will and other people will feel sad about that. I learned that in the church. I learned that in relationships. I learned that meeting people online, you know, like, oh, I'm your number one fan and then they're gone. And I'm different than how they, how they perceive me. So don't be too attached to having anyone in your life be like, you know, your number one per se. Now, again, certainly if you're in a relationship like, you know, marriage or seriously involved, then, you know, obviously, look, you put them in the right priority and you don't, you don't wish that relationship doomed from the beginning. Um, but I want to tell you that this is why less attachments, less, less suffering. Now, I won't say, though, that I believe you should live a life where you're never attached to people or things because, you know, you have to experience life and you have the right to experience life. I've got to. But I also know that I've been spared because I've pulled myself out of certain entrenchments that I see some people can't now and their life is this endless suffering and they wish they wish for the next life. And look, sometimes even me, like I'm tired of life, too. But, you know, overall for me, for my personality, I, I'm living the best life I can for me. And I'm happy about that. I think you can make your life better in this world. I don't I don't think you should just plan your Airbnb for heaven or hell. <laughs> I think you should try as best you can within your ability to do the work and to make your life better in this world and better for society. Anyone who says, specifically religious or spiritual, anyone who only wants to prepare you for the next life and not this life is a fraud. Because they're pretty much saying... Don't even worry about what you do. Just worry about what's what we don't know is going to happen in the afterlife. So, look, there's a girl that's going to love you, love your lifestyle, love everything about you. And then years later, it's going to be different. There's a guy, same thing. He's going to uh, put you at number one, say you're the best, and then he's going to resent you. There's a... Uh, a, a, a lifestyle group that's going to be, oh, I love this lifestyle, I love this faith, I love this whatever, and they're going to all do something different. Everyone's going to do something different. That's the message in this video. So you have to make sure that you always check yourself, that if no one else did this lifestyle, would I still do it? Can I change? Am I willing to change if I no longer like it, not just because I'm associated with the group? You have to develop yourself. You have to be willing to walk alone for a level of your journey. That is the golden gem message in this video. If you believe it changed your life, click that thumbs up. Click that blue join button. Why? Because many people tell me I've changed their life, but they're no longer here, and that's a good thing. Why? Because we're not always meant to be together. You know? We're not always meant to be together. So if you are transitioning to a new life without me, that's good. And same thing for me, that's good. It's just the way life is. So all of us have to remember not to 
hold each other captive. We're all just birds, guys, flying through the universe that Elon Musk created, the metaverse. And you are lost in the metaverse. You just keep scrolling different videos. And what I can tell you is this, guys. Whether in the metaverse, this universe, or the next universe, just focus on what you can control and don't get too attached to anyone, but don't be negative or don't be cynical to people. Just live your life. Okay. See you in the next video.